the course of working here, I have watched people fletch arrows and just revein them. And today I'm going to take a gander at it and do it myself. So bear with me because it may take me a couple of tries, a lot of tries, so stick around. Um, so first of all, my arrows that I'm gonna use are all have already been fletched, but sometimes you may have arrows that are bare shafted and you have to vein them yourself so you can just skip this process that I'm about to do. So first of all, we're going to take some handy dandy pliers and we're just gonna kind of take this thing off, maybe. <laughs> maybe not, maybe we'll just keep it on. Um, no, you know what, we're gonna do this. Okay, I think I'm breaking it. <laughs> I'm so if you need help, the only reason she's taking these knocks off is because her arrows already have veins on them. So we twist them out. Just like them. that. Simple, easy. Never been done before. <laughs> and then you're going to take this handy dandy stripper tool and you're just gonna kind of put it right here and just go like that. But you also want to get like the rest of it, but I was just kind of showing you the beginning of it. But this kind of like requires muscle, so make sure you have some of that. I lack in that area sometimes, but like today, just have whole strength. <laughs> yeah, this is going very nicely. And you just do this and keep repeating the process until everything is off. So now that we have this arrow stripped, we're gonna take some acetone and just kind of clean off the arrow, make sure we got everything off and it's clean and we're just, we have a fresh start to work with when we start putting all of this fun stuff on. So to start with, we are going to take these cute little things. I chose pink because, you know, and these are the arrow wraps and you're just going to take this and like put it right there around it. It's going to look super cute. So you have to start by like taking off this on the back, if I can, perfect, just like this. And you're going to like line this up with a straight edge because you want it to be as straight as possible on your arrow. You want to line this up with a straight edge and then also start lining up your arrow like so. And you're just gonna kind of roll it and get it attached. And then once it's attached like that, you're just gonna roll it some more. And voila! We have just wrapped our first arrow, ladies and gents. All of that process, I went ahead and already put the knocks back in because you want to do that after you've wrapped the arrow. And now we are going to put the veins on. I've never done this before, so bear with me. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, but this is the jig that we're using. It's a bits and burger jig. That's already set up for me so that's awesome i don't have to worry about that as much um i am using an aae hybrid 23 vein they are veins that you don't have to clean or anything they're just ready to put some glue on and get sticking so let's begin so we're gonna take this clasp and we're gonna we have a line right here which is where the butt of the vein is gonna go i've learned that much and we're gonna stick that in there. Give me a second. How do you get it in there? You just wanna grab the top of the, there you got it. You're doing a good job. Like that? And then look, you wanna make sure that that mark is dead even with the back of the arrow. Mm -hmm. So that you can put every one of them in the exact same location. Okay. 
And we want to go ahead and put our arrow in here. Is it still videoing or no? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you also don't want to forget to put your arrow in there because that's kind of a vital part to sticking these veins on. So we want to do that and then we're just going to turn it to make sure one, two, three, uh, four, because I'm putting four veins on my arrows. So yes. Okay. So now we're just going to take the bull by the horn and put some glue on this and get to going. So less glue is more sometimes because if you put too much glue on this the veins get slippery and then they're not even and there's just a whole lot of stuff that could go wrong. So let's see if I can do this maybe. I feel like it's almost putting like eyelash glue on fake eyelashes. Think of it that way.